dressed uh, far more normally for the most part. And this one's going to be kind of about like um, a short term get home bag situation and just uh, an idea of maybe what you can have on you. For this scenario, I'm kind of thinking like uh, maybe you're on the way to work and the context would be a rural area, maybe a rural town or a, um, a rural house out in the country. Um, what you can do is on your way to work, you scout out, you look around, you're driving, you see where your turnoffs are and how far it is to work and to home and that whole thing. In this scenario, think maybe that um, your car is broken down or the radio goes out for whatever reason. Just kind of an oddball situation. And now you got to walk, say, if, I don't know, 15 miles, some uh, arbitrary number, and uh, to get home. And so, in this case, it might be a good idea within your car or truck to have something more portable. This is my 11 and a half uh, pistol configuration. Uh, just has a red dot, flashlight. Uh, I know my back of sight's in a really weird area, right? <laughs> but um, it'll do the job, you know, within like uh, 25 yards or so. So it's perfectly fine and capable. Um, also, within my gear, I have a magnifier. And this has been set for 50 yards. So if this were to go down, I still have enough of a gap here to read my iron sights. And to, um, so I'm, I'm pretty well situated as far as that goes. Rifle side. You can just have like a regular gym bag or backpack that you throw in your car. I only have like a couple of goodies in here. Um, just like a couple like granola bar snacks, a couple of bottles of water. Um, you know, things like that. I do have a balaclava, and the reason I thought about bringing that was a couple years ago we had the smoke from Canada. And while it may not have been like the perfect aid, it was uh, better than just breathing in air. So I think that's a good thing. We did my bag. also have my chest rig from Helicon Text. I really, really love this rig. Um, pretty great. Now something small and portable like this, or like a chest bag or you know a micro rig would be uh, probably a good idea. So if things get a little more contested and you have to take a off-road path, might not be a bad idea. Speaking of which, might be a good idea to print off a map of your area and have it laminated. Like for like say I don't know, 20 mile radius. Again, it depends on your situation and where you live and what part of the country and the climate. There's a lot of variables. It's probably um, a good idea. So they got her backpack full of a few snacks. I easily can do like 15 miles of this, whatever. Uh, not really a big deal. Um, might also be a good idea to have like a hooded shirt also. Protect you from debris. Um, if you have to roll this around the dirt to subdue the color. Because, right, we're assuming we're not going into a tactical environment. We're assuming that we're on our way to work or from work or to the store or what have you. And uh, so this guy here is mostly black because they're not really for like a woodsy, you know, setup, patrol settings. And so, I mean, I'm basically good. I got enough uh, stuff in here to get me going. Uh, a little bit of food, a little bit of water, a little bit of uh, clothing also. With this being the tail end of summer and the beginning of autumn, this is just a super light rig. Obviously, as it gets colder, uh, I might have to get a bigger backpack and put a thicker coat in there um, uh, with better insulation, uh, wool socks. Um, ball club's still a good idea. Um, but maybe um, like a, a, a beanie or some kind of skull cap or whatever you got might not be a bad idea um, for this setup. The woods here, again, not CGI, it's great.
I uh, recently had to use a zero turn to clear a path here to get to the trailhead. So that's cool. Anyways, um, so you're out and about. And this is just how I have mine set up up here. Just, I, you know, people think uh, really far forward. Actually, it's mostly all I use it for here. I have this to stop me from going any more forward past the muzzle device. And it's mostly how I have it set up. And this is mostly for um, uh, carrying within a car and more of like a home defense uh, setup rifle. So, you know, I'm good here controlling, doing my thing. And um, you just you don't know what you're getting into, right? So, discretion is a better part of that. So you can also break this down, stick it in your backpack. What I'd recommend is, um, if you break this down the upper, put a piece of tape around the rear of the uh, bolt carrier group to keep it from sliding out. Um, also, I keep a little portable um, um, gun cleaning kit and an extra uh, bolt carrier group in my backpack because uh, that's probably your most common problems you're going to have. Um, so if your firing pin goes down or um, you blow your bolt or whatever, at least you have to spare and you have a whole unit instead of just you know, a bunch of little pieces. Um, probably not a good idea to have a bunch of springs in your backpack. If you drop it, it gets confiscated or whatever. Or um, so you get a car accident and it just tears apart then you're screwed. Um, but, uh, it, basically all your contents are going to be that way, but it's a lot harder to pick up springs in the grass. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> um, Anyway, so yeah, this is just my kind of idea of a uh, situational, um, say, car blowout scenario or something like that. And, um, oh, also today is October 7th. So as you know, it's what happened last year. Uh, the Hamas terrorist organization uh, attacked Israel, regardless how you feel about Israel. Um, I mean, it, it's an atrocity to kill innocent civilians in a concert. I recently went to a concert in Chicago, Metallica, and uh, I kept thinking about that in my head, and how much worse that, that would have been. But if you have to justify killing random civilians at a concert, regardless of the race, religion, creed, and or whatever, you are the bad guy. Um, so let's keep that in mind. And again, I'm not like a super oh, support Israel at all costs kind of guy. Um, but no, killing innocent civilians is generally a horrible idea. And uh, the same is for the, uh, the the Gazans stuck there who are not allowed to leave to go to Egypt or Syria or uh, Lebanon for supposed security reasons. But anyways, I rant. I'm getting sidetracked here. Anyhow, um, this is just a little quick setup video. A um, lot less tactical. Try to be more practical about this and everything and uh, just you know food for thought anyways you guys have a great week and i'll see you when i see you and hopefully the next time i do something it might be actually more of i mean it kind of depends here but um if i can get a more wider angle uh to show like stalking and like a basic patrol movement kind of deal i might try to go for that but um it's gonna uh, take some thinking about it and logistics and stuff and uh, that's it anyways all right guys have a great week and uh hope everything works out for the best bye